There are displays everywhere these days. Phones, tablets, TVs. They're all rectangular. Have you ever seen round ones? Well, they're coming. Developing for a round display is just as easy as developing on a rectangular display. Today, I'll show you how. Hi, I'm Bill Lee. Welcome to the lab. In front of me here is a demo application using a round display driven by our SAM 9x75 base microprocessor. Microchips SAM 9x75 is a low power, low cost ARM 926 base microprocessor running at speeds up to 800 megahertz. The new processor brings advanced display interfaces like MIPP DSI and LVDS to a low power microprocessor opening the door to low cost and more robust displays. And in this case, we're driving a round display. This round display happens to be a 4-inch 720p display that we're using the MIPI DSi interface uh, to, to display it. The 9x75 has a built-in display controller. It is, it is capable of reading from multiple uh, display memory locations on the DRAM memory that is accessible on this SAM 9x75 Curiosity board. Uh, the, the advantage of reading from multiple display controllers is you can create these amazing effects that you see on the display itself, um, whether it's the needle turning or the, or the, the glowing effect. Uh, that's, that's using our microchip graphics suite uh, library integrated with the peripheral that is on the SAM 9675 uh, itself to uh, create a very professional display product um, that can be used for industrial, medical uh, type uh, products also. I mentioned phones and tablets. They all have touch input. This has capacitive touch input. It's all supported with the SAM9675. There is a capacitive touch controller on board the display and it's interfacing via this connection, uh, this ca connection cable over the I2C connection onto the SAM9675. The I2C handles the, the touch, which I'm showing here. And, um, and uh, so, it, uh, so it can easily support various different applications in the automotive, industrial, medical, commercial, and IoT segments. How does all this work? Well, underneath, we have a tool, uh, which we call the Microchip Graphics Suite. There's a, a graphics library. There is a whiz, what you see is what you get uh, a designer tool, which we call the Microchip Graphics Composer, which I'll show you now. Uh, the, the tool itself is structured such that you can easily import fonts and images uh, that you need for the demo. Uh, it has, and it, it structures the demonstration into different layers and then once this is set up and the tool will generate uh, everything you see here into C code, which then we use our MPLAB tool suite to compile and deploy onto the board itself. The tool has different widgets and, uh, and uh, you're able to, with different properties that you can use to configure so that you can create a, an application to it exactly the way you want. And as I've mentioned, the 9x75 isn't just for automotive uh, applications. You can do IoT. And what, I, what I've shown here is the Composer tool uh, creating a different demo application. This is the, the thermostat application that uh, I will show you how we deploy the 9x75 onto the same display. And uh, it, uh, as you can see on the, 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 the tree structure here, it's, it's got a few more widgets based on the way it operates. And uh, the design is still round display. You can see that it's using a uh, different, different graphics, different assets to create a different demo. The change from the automotive version to the home automated uh, uh, example is very, it's very easy. All, all it requires is a change in the graphics design that you see in the what you see is what you get composer tool here and uh, some application code changes. The graphics library and the drivers underneath 
that uh, supports the display does not require um, changing. The only thing changed is the, the GUI and the application code. What if the display and the boards is not available for development yet? Are you stuck waiting for that before you can try out your graphics user interface? Well, fear not. Our simulator tool that comes with the Microchip Graphics Tool Suite can handle this for you. You can take the generated code from the Microchip Graphics Composer and run this with the simulator. It has two modes. It has a web mode, and when you, uh, and you can quickly build the the GUI that was generated using the composer. And uh, as just as quickly as I've seen here, it will create a web page version of that thermostat uh, example that I've shown in the composer itself. And uh, it even allows for a simulator touch input using your mouse. And um, as you can see, I am kind of navigating. This is exactly how the GUI was designed with some application code uh, to handle the different uh, button pushes that I'm, I'm doing for this demo. This, uh, the simulator actually generates an HTML file, which means you can run the simulated output on any web browser, whether it's on a desktop or on Chrome on your Android phone or on, um, on, on Safari. Uh, so the benefit of this is not only can you simulate this for developing the GUI to get the behavior correct, um, if you're developing this application and you need to show this to a manager or a, a marketing person or a, 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 an art, a UI designer artist, where, where they're not familiar with the engineering tools, this is exactly the, the tool you want to use. It, uh, it generates the HTML file. You can e even email this HTML file to uh, sh stake uh, stakeholders that, that want to develop this application. So this is the power of using a simulator to, to, to create the, the simulated output for review, etc. I mentioned that the tool supports both the web mode and a native mode. What the native mode can do is you can uh, turn the generated output into and export this into a uh, in, into a locally, and then you can use a developer tool such as uh, VS Code to debug locally the uh, on on your desktop the the, the demo itself. So now not only uh, the the web mode supports sending an HTML file to, to anybody that uh, is not an engineer and would like to inspect and review the graphics user interface, uh, the engineer that, uh, that is developing uh, can, can now debug the graphics user interface locally on the desktop. This way, you can have the graphics user, user interface ready to go when the board and the display arrives, and you do not have to wait for that to come. Um, and as you can see here, this is the same uh, graphics, graphics uh, user interface example that we've shown in the Composer and in the web-based version of the tool itself. Using these two tools uh, you will save you tremendous amount of development time. We talk about man weeks of development time savings that you can do by using the simulator tool in both the web mode and the native mode itself. Let's deploy a different example onto our onto the 9x75 board and around display. What you see on the screen here is the our MPLAB X development tool using the um, the MPLAB code configurator. The it, it is running our Harmony three development tools, and uh, I will build right now to show you how the, the demo application actually runs. MPLAB X, XC32 compiler is, uh, is compiling the image right now, and uh, it will create a, a binary file, which I will copy onto the SD card, and uh, the SD, then I put the SD card onto the 7975 Curiosity board, 
and it will load up the application. Simply power cycle the, the board itself and the board will load up with the new demo application. And the design that uh, we have here is a home appliance thermostat that is using the same round display with the same 975 development board. Thank you for watching. For more information on how to acquire the 975 Curiosity board or how to use the Microchip Graphics Suite for your graphics user interface development, links are in the description below. We'll see you next time in the lab.